Yes, thank you so much for your time. First of all, what is your official position on the increment? Are you against any kind of increment or those above the 15% threshold? Thank you very much. I, I don't know if I'm very clear. Yes, I can hear you. I can have a look. I can have a view. Um, once again, um, good evening to yourself and your listeners. Uh, on behalf of the National Union of Ghana Students, over the last few days or few weeks, we have been consistent about the one, the need to uh, consider and be sensitive to the times that students find ourselves in. Not just students, but the entire country. We need to be sensitive to that. Two, uh, we need to also find safety nets that support students and ensure that tertiary education does not become a preserve of only the rich. So we first of all submitted a petition to the president requesting that please do not increase this year. But unfortunately, after the back and forth with parliament, uh, we arrived on the 15% increment. That is what parliament approved. What we are saying is that we are not happy with the 15% increment, but we are willing to work with that, provided that all institutions would respect the 15%. Now, the challenge we have is even much more dangerous and um, smacks of an illegality because you have institutions such as the University of Ghana, such as the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, such as the University of Cape Coast, going above the 15%. And that is quite dangerous because one, it is insensitive, two, it is an illegality, and three, it beats all reasonable um, sort of thinking in this time. It is a contempt of the Parliament of Ghana. So all we are saying is that all fees must be reduced to meet the threshold of the 15% because if we ordinarily are reasoning to agree or understand the 15%, then the least you can do for the students of this country is also to respect what the parliament of Ghana has set as a threshold. So basically, that is what we are calling for. We are calling for the respect of the parliament of Ghana and a respect for the 15% threshold so that no fees goes above the 15% threshold. On this, have you had discussions with the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission on those charging illegally? Uh, if I begin to list the things that we have been involved in and we have been to uh, regards to this matter, you would be you mm -hmm. you would wonder. First of all, we've written to Parliament. Uh, we wrote to Parliament on the first of December this year. We met um, JTEC, that's the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission that you mentioned. We met them on the twentieth of December this year, just some few days ago, which led today releasing a circular to all the universities on the 22nd of December, warning the investors to comply with the parliamentary directive, and two, advising the investors that they, they need to also allow a path payment policy that would ensure that students can uh, pay 50% 50, uh, 50 of their fees and so have access to their schools. But what do we have here? What we have here is a consistent, blatant disregard for parliamentary approval, and that is quite glaring to everyone in this country that our investors have become goals unto themselves and for, uh, uh, for reasons best known to them have decided that they will pursue an illegality. Mm. An illegality in its all forms, in its all forms, and a grave contempt for parliament. Mm. And you know why everyone is quiet in this country? Because that is not being pursued or, uh, 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 that's, that is not being pursued against anyone but students. Mm. So students have become an easy punch back where anyone can punch them and have it uh, their way. Imagine mm. if this was imposed on any group of people in this country. Mm. And that is where the problem is coming from. Nobody seems to understand students unless they route. Mm. Unless students route, nobody wants to listen to them. But all we are seeing is that at the, at, at the leadership of the National Union of Ghana students, we do not want to get to the point of routing. So we've written, we've met. Tomorrow, we will peacefully go and submit a petition to JTEC Ministry of Education, Ministry of Health, then the Parliament of Ghana. From that, we will move straight to the group secretariat and do our press conference there tomorrow. Oh. So basically, that is the lineup of activities for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the beginning of a series of phases of what we call a looter is here. Until we see the fees drop, not a single day will we rest. Every single student of this country deserves the right to education at a reasonable rate. What the Constitution provides for us is a progressive free, free 
uh, education in this country. We've crossed the basic level, we've crossed the secondary level. Now we are the, uh, the tertiary level. We are not saying don't charge fees. We are not even, we've even agreed for you to increase fees. All we are saying is that be reasonable, be considerate. You can't just wake up and increase it. You don't do that anywhere. There are laws. Laws are made for to protect you and I. The same laws that protect the vice chancellor gives him the uh, him or her the seat to lead the university. It's the same law that protects the students of this country. So then, is so I saying that students should hold on with payment of the fees till you resolve this? No one should pay above fifteen percent. We've said that already. No one should pay above the 15%. If your school is charging more than 15%, do not pay. If it will take every single fiber of our blood, every single fiber of our bone to resist an oppressor in this country, we will resist it. It is only painful and sad that when it comes to the matters of students in this country, it becomes it is subjected to tokenism. After thought, nobody cares. No, nobody cares until we are. Right. We are patient. We are patient. But our patience has a gauge. Right. And one day, one day, we may not be held back. Thank you so much for your time. And Dennis Apia Labiampofo is president of the